Good afternoon, Senamar. Can you tell us about yourself? I have a few questions for you to answer, Senamar, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid to earn high salary to support our finances and to support the education of my child. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I choose Malaysia now because it is in the Philippines and the time in Malaysia are the here in the Philippines. And I want to know the tradition and culture. Okay. Okay, how are you qualified for this job? I'm dedicated to my job now in hard working. May I know what was your educational level is? I'm only high school graduate now. What was your latest working experience? Housekeeper now. You mean you are in the house only housewife? Yes, ma'am. Have you worked abroad before? No. Do you have experience of taking care of babies? Yes, ma'am. In my own child now. How about assisting elderly? Do you have experience? No, ma'am, but I'm not in Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. I have gardening in cooking. Okay. Are you willing to learn new skills? Okay. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? Do you know how to cook? Okay, what sort of food can you cook? Okay, are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? From all the house chores that I have mentioned to you, which do you like most? If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kid? My husband and my siblings. Okay, your husband and your siblings. Correct. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Again? You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your working performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions, Senamar? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for us your attitude? I'm hardworking, I'm honest, and disciplined. How can you assure to us that you will work hard here in Malaysia? I will work hard now for my family, and I don't want to disappoint my employer. Can you promise not to use the house telephone without the permission of your employer? Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No. 
Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergies, or physical defect? No. Do you smoke? No. Have you undergone any operation before? No. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Medically fit. Are you in any medication right now, Sinomar? No. Are you allergic with any food? No. Are you allergic with any food? No. Are you prepared to work for the employer of different races? Yes. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Are you afraid alone in the house? No. Again? No. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes. Do you have any family members working in Malaysia? Okay, we have finished our question section. Let's proceed for case study. I have a case study for you, Senamar, and I want you to respond truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if in case one of your family members passed away, what will you do? I will continue to work now until I finish my contract. So what help would you give to your family members who passed away? Again? Okay. If in case right now your employer is watching you, what do you want to tell them why employer need to hire you? Anything else you want to tell to your employer? Okay, tell us about yourself again. Okay, and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? To have a high salary. Okay, thank you very much. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Yes, ma'am.